Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make copper chloride using copper, sulf copper sulfate and table salt. Now, for this you'll need a beaker, obviously. I got a 50 ml beaker. It's washed. Make sure it's clean and optional is if you want to transfer it to something big so you're gonna need a container so I'm not gonna use it but I'm just gonna I'm just saying and then uh, first you wanna take your mortar and pestle so it's not clean there is some copper sulfate in here so that's not gonna be a problem for us because we are going to be crushing copper sulfate in it. So first, open up the copper sulfate bottle and here it is. We're going to take some and <coughs> crush it up. So I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. So here it is, our crushed uh, focus our crushed uh, copper sulfate now you don't want to clean your uh, motor and pestle because i'm lazy so i didn't i'm sorry and yeah safety gloves are on obviously whoa what the oh yeah i don't know what happened to this so we'll transfer this to a beaker so now I've transferred this copper sulfate from here to here to this beaker okay now you can add uh, distilled water to it but I prefer ionized or tap water you can uh, boil your water warm it up or you can use it room temperature water doesn't matter so you're just gonna pour some in about this much I guess then you just swirl it around use your glass rod just just make it really saturated okay that's our goal just to make it saturated so now it should be really blue color if your ones not blue or greenish so I mean if it's greenish then I think you have some impurities in your copper sulfate so we're first gonna mix it up I really suggest to use a uh, hot water cuz hot water can uh, dissolve fast I mean in hot water copper sulfate can dissolve more fast so we're gonna add more water to it cuz I'm seeing some undissolved particles. Okay. The. Okay. I'm gonna be back with you guys when I'm done. So now I'm done dissolving this. There is some undissolved copper sulfate still, but it doesn't matter too much now. So now you're gonna take some table salt you don't need this much cut i've just got it for backup you're gonna scoop some oh man you're gonna scoop some up and drop it into it now copper sulfate is uh copper dissolved in sulfuric acid the easiest method actually so that means that it has some sulfate I mean it has sulfate particles in it so when you mix sulfuric acid and hydrogen uh, my god um, I can't speak if you mix sulfuric acid and table salt which is sodium chloride then it's gonna produce Na2SO4 which is sodium sulfate and hydrogen chloride gas 
so which means you can make hydrochloric acid from table salt so we're gonna mix it mix it and mix it wait we're gonna add more a bit more doesn't hurt so you'll see it it will turn into a really pale green color then you know that the hydro uh, copper chloride is in fact in it so you we're gonna drop in some more water and we're gonna stir it up now at first it was really blue color uh, almost like this copper sulfate stuck on this motor color to this pale green color there are still some undissolved salt in it so to test it if it is copper chloride you're gonna take some aluminum foil make a ball of it or just drop in it and just drop it in so what's this gonna do is it's gonna react with uh, this uh, aluminum foil it's gonna plate the aluminum foil in copper and then re-dissolve it now the rate of the reaction it depends on the concentration if the concentration is low as mine is then which means it the reaction will be slow so what you can do is hit the solution up and add some more table salt to it I'm not gonna do it but I'm just gonna add table salt to it I'm not gonna heat it up just gonna add table salt and as you can see the copper uh, aluminium is starting to get a copper coat on it and it is reacting to it the reaction is exothermic so be prepared if you're doing if you're doing in it in a small test tube just don't touch the bottom of part of it because it burns okay my camera is not fucking focusing sorry okay as you can see it is uh, it is reacting to it it is cold actually so what we're gonna do is add a bit more water to it and we're just gonna mix it up you can uh, take this out okay now I think I have dissolved most of the salts now I'm gonna drop in an aluminium ball there it is so it will start up a bit slow and now as you can see it is reacting to it let's just try to push it in okay now you can see it is being coated with uh, copper if you take a ordinary nail like this and put it in the solution and wait for a second and take it out right about now as you can see it looks like rust but it's not rust it's actually copper coated it is really weakly coated so you can just rub it off so there's our nail and let me show you that's focus see uh, the coating is already being uh, rubbed off wait look so it is a really weak coating now to the aluminium ball it wow it is just disgusting so 
now you can like almost do anything to it most popularly it's good for uh, etching boards like uh, copper clads or vero boards or whatever board you use I personally use a vero board uh, it, it's easy fast that's why uh, the alternate way to do this is just this uh, take some dilute copper uh, doing this would ensure you that you will get a good yield and good concentration for doing this you'll need a dilute sulfuric acid like 50% concentration and add some salt to it and you're done now it is acidic obviously uh, and on my next video I'm going to show you how to make ha uh, sulfuric acid from copper sulfate this so stay tuned and we'll meet again